Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to demonstrate to you the rotational motion of a rigid body experiment. The main objective of this experiment is the students to determine the moment of inertia of a flywheel. Moment of inertia is basically a quantity expressing a body's tendency to resist angular acceleration. The symbol used for the moment of inertia is capital I. By referring to figure 4.1, apply Newton for linear motion, we will obtain mg minus t equals to ma. Rearrange the equation, we will get t equals to mg minus a. And apply Newton's second law for rotational motion, we will obtain tr minus tau equals to i alpha, where a is a downward linear acceleration, tau is a frictional torque, alpha is the angular acceleration, d is the tension in the string, r is the radius of axle, and i is the moment of inertia of flywheel. Therefore, alpha is equals to rt over i minus tau over i. By plotting the graph of alpha against t, we will obtain the straight line graph as shown. The value of i can be obtained from the gradient of the graph. Therefore, i is equals to r over gradient. In order to plot the graph alpha against t, students should know to calculate the values of linear acceleration a, angular acceleration alpha, and tension T from the data taken. Hence, the linear acceleration A equals to 2H over T square and angular acceleration alpha is equals to A over R. Tension T equals to M G minus A where h is the falling distance of mass, t is the time taken for the mass to fall to the floor, r is the radius of axle, m is the mass of slotted mass, and g is equal to 9.81 meter per second square. The apparatus needed are flywheel, stopwatch, set of slotted mass with hook, meter rule, G-clamp, inelastic string to hang the mass to the flywheel, cardboard, and vernier calipers. Before setting up the apparatus, make sure to measure the diameter of the axle and calculate its radius R. Now, let's set up the apparatus. Using a G-clamp, clamp the flywheel in place. Then, tie up and wound the string around the axle. Now, place the slotted mass at the end of the string. Record the falling slotted mass M. Choose a fixed point at height H above the floor. Record H. Release the slotted mass from the fixed point H and simultaneously start the stopwatch. Record the time T for the slotted mass to hit the cardboard on the floor in two decimal places. 
make sure to repeat the procedure two times to obtain the average value of time. Tabulate your data. Repeat the procedures for at least six different values of M. Calculate A, D, and alpha using equations 4.5, 4.6, and 4.7 respectively. Next, write a full report consists of title, objective, theory, apparatus, procedure, observation table, graph and data analysis consists of graph plotting, calculations of gradient and moment of inertia, and compare to the theoretical value. Then, write a discussion that includes source of error, safety precautions, and suggestions. Finally, do not forget to write conclusion. The theoretical value of moment of inertia in this experiment is 1.792 times 10 to power of minus 2 kilogram meter square. If you do have any questions, do not hesitate to leave a comment below. I will try my best to attend to them. Thank you for watching.